Welcome back to another day in the old jazz era. I'm your host of the most most Taylor old jazz. You doing good? I'm doing pretty good. But are you doing good though? I'm doing pretty good today. We're here at Ella Jazz After Hours. And we have a few contestants here today competing for an Angela. The first contestant that we have here today is going to answer some questions. Okay, has a variety of questions for this individual to answer. There's going to be a point system. Okay, after every question, Miss Anna is going to give the contestant a plus one if she enjoyed the answer or a minus one if she did not enjoy the response from said contestant. Does it make sense, contestant? Uh, uh, Individual, okay. Word, cool. Mister, Mister Contestant, does it make sense to you? Mm, yes. A B C D L M A. Uh, what? Jacques. But moving on. These questions we're gonna get into very, very deep. But let's start it off, okay? Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh, you've really done it now, Mac. Damn it. How the hell are you going to get yourself out of this one? Ah, I knew I shouldn't have trusted that freak Freddy. It's all his fault. Ah, what am I going to tell Darius? Ooh, when he wakes up, he's going to kill me. <laughs> it feels like I got curb stomped by the Hulk. Question number one, okay, make sure y'all remember how this is going to go down the point system, okay? Once once I ask this question, it's basically me asking the question out of your mouth, and he's going to give the response, okay? If you do not like the response, give him a minus one. Don't play no games with this man. But if you enjoy the damn response, make sure you give him a plus one, because sharing is caring. Spread love is the broken way. But first question, okay? Mr. Uh, uh, contestant, number one, this is for you to answer, okay? Is dream cheating still cheating? Dream cheating? Like if I have a dream of someone else? Um, I would say not really, because if, if it's like a thought, I don't think this is really cheating. But at the same time, you shouldn't be thinking about no other girl besides yours. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's kind of 50-50. So, but if I have to give an answer, yes or no, I'd, I'd lean towards yes a little bit, yeah. It sounded very convoluted. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, sound like a like a like a yes kind of yes no upside down right. question mark. Um, so that's what it was giving. So um, I'm confused on what's what it's really giving. So I need you to uh, really really lock that down for me, uh, contestant. I'm gonna say no. No, it's not. Mm, wow. Completely just flipped like a quarter. Yes. It, right. Yeah, very much so. Yes. Heads tails. Miss Anna, what's, what's your verdict on that one? My verdict is a plus one. Oh wow! You also just flipped like a quarter. There's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of flipping going on. Didn't know we was at the flopper. Damn uh, Olympics, 2035. Um, Michael Scott. Next, next uh, question we have here. Hello, Jazz. After hours, it's getting real spicy. Mr. Contestant. What is your special skill? I have a few, actually. Wow. But my main skill would have to be drawing. Mm. So, uh, uh, you said you had multiple, so you might as well list them out. What's, what's the other skills? Why don't you yeah, stun her real quick? Uh, let, me, let me put the put the coat on real quick. So, I do art, I paint, I draw, I cook, I dance. Oh, wow. I, um know how to make cartoons. I'm an animator. Um, and I also 
can dress. I'm pretty fly. Oh, wow. Okay. Fly guy. You dig me? Fly guy over here, the swag. I feel like I know you. <laughs> you feel like you know me? You oh, sound wow. familiar. Good golly, this is getting real <laughs> spicy. Two questions in. Seems like they already know each other, like they've been knowing each other for years. Why don't you go ahead and let her know what you what you can cook? Because a lot of people say they can cook and they don't know how to toast some toast. So, I come from a very Caribbean background, you feel me? So I know how to make all the Caribbean delights for me. Curry chicken with fried rice. I mean, fried rice, you know what I'm saying? White rice, all that. Um, I know how to make any pasta dish you can name. A simple traffic stop can take a turn for the worse. Due to our anxiety or just the fear of the police officers, there is no need to panic or reach. I introduce to you the pocket. This product is for our safety and the officer's comfort. As you get pulled over, have your license and insurance inserted in the pocket. Place it on the outside of the door. As the officer walking up, he will visibly see the pocket on the door with your license and insurance and will also see your hands visibly on the steering wheel. The pocket will also help with social distancing due to COVID-19. The officer will take the pocket to his car run your license and return the pocket to your door. He will insert your citation if there is one and both parties will drive away safely. My message to you, survive the encounter with the police officer, get home. The pocket for our safety and the officer comfort. I'm kind of getting into bacon a little bit, not, not too crazy yet, but bacon is a little something I've been in the kitchen with. Um, I know how to do like steak, mashed potatoes with the corn on the side. I also do very, um, very good uh, barbecue salmon. You know what I'm saying? With the, the honey barbecue glaze, sweet and sour, any kind of sauce really. Um, lobster, name. yeah, I'll I be chefing it up from there. Lobster mac, all that, yeah, going crazy. Seafood is a delectable for women, so I like to, you know what I mean? Not wrong. <laughs> Wow, sounds like I want to try the kid flash menu. Pause, but uh, <laughs> Miss uh, uh, Miss Anna. Uh huh. Plus one or minus one? Plus one. Oh, wow, we're going up in the score. We just up the score. Somebody hit up Ice for Bezo. You did. Yeah. Uh, I hated the clear like I'm Taylor. Uh, Dark on the glass like it's Taylor. Uh, Slip in the cold like I'm Taylor. Uh, don't give a fuck, I'm not Taylor. Uh, say what I want like I'm Taylor. My bitch kind of white like Taylor. Sweet. Taylor! Yeah. I am to the clear like I'm Taylor. Uh. Question number three Mr. Contestant. Does distance change how you feel about someone? Nah, no it doesn't. Because if I really like you and I really want to, you know, go further with you, I don't care how far you are. You could be on the other side of the world. I still keep in contact. I still want to see you every day. And, you know what I'm saying, when the time is right and both of our stars is aligned, I'll take that flight any day. Oh, well. Any day, any time. Yes, sir. Is there such thing as too far? Nah. Because I literally said you can be across the world. <laughs> so if she lived in Hawaii. I'm out. You travel for the I always want to go to Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? It's very hot out there. Nice, nice ocean waves and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Date on the beach for me. Wow. Get lit. There is nothing to do in Hawaii. So how long is that gonna last? As long as you want to do. There's wow. nothing to do in Hawaii. I think there's a lot to do in Hawaii. I could try surfing. I ain't never did that shit. Oh wow. What type of surfing are you referring to? All okay. kinds. All kinds. You know. You know. If you know, you know. Good God. Miss Anna. Uh huh. Plus one. Or minus one. I'm gonna have to do minus one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus Just Christ. Real bananas over here. Why? Why the minus one? Because the answer should have been there's not gonna be any distance. Because <laughs> I don't do those. Oh wow. Well, I'm gonna need some elaboration on that one. What do you mean by you don't do those? I don't do long distance relationships at all. Hmm. Wow. Someone sounds traumatized. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Good God. <laughs> <laughs>
Number four. Mr. Contestant. Is 30 young or old? Like, for me, I don't know. I mean, if you're 30 years old and I'm like the current age I'm at, which is 23, I don't think that's that old. But if you like in your teens still, like 19 or some shit like that, and you date wow. a 30 year old, that's crazy. So, okay. so it, it really depends on your age, honestly. I'd say that. There's no real yes or no. But it's like if your age is below like 21, it's wild. But if it's past 21, you I. It's age nothing but a number. What the hell? Nah, type of R. Kelly shit? Nah, you gotta be within the legal boundaries for me to date you. Like, I'm not dating no high schooler or no shit like that. That's weird. Would you have attended Michael Jackson's dream camp? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> That's deep. That's tough. <laughs> like, yo, nah, don't, not for me, no. I'm not that kind of guy. Good God. I personally was referring to age in general when I asked the question, okay? Is 30 young or old? 30's not old. 40 is crazy, but 30 is out. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't turn into a thing when I'm touching her body. Good girl from time to time, but in the best she's slotty. And I can get her off me. Might give her my Wait, offspring. Yeah. yeah, I met this little shorty. Thought she was a one until she crossed me. Damn, she left me heartless. Like, why you had to go there? But now a nigga ballin' like Spartan. Miss Anna. Plus one. Or minus one. Plus one. Spicy. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Gooey. <laughs> Go ahead and add that plus one for Mr. Contestant. Moving on, okay. Introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. I mean, outside. Wow. Possible wrote the song about you. When you be outside, what does that really mean? Uh, well based off my lifestyle um outside basically means in events you know whether it be label parties you know working at uh you know art galleries or stuff like that because i'm an artist um going to parties clubs you know outdoor activities fun stuff like that oh wow living his life like it's golden do you feel you could be with an in introvert of intro uh, in individual? Um, I got my introverted days, but if she's gonna be on some introvert shit like all the time, I don't think it's gonna happen, no. Wow. Good God. So say you go to a one of these label events, okay? Mm-hmm. You get two tickets. Oh. Uh -huh. The Eventbrite link said you could bring a plus one. Who's your plus one? Say you and said individual. Y'all, y'all been talking for, for for going on, going on two and a half months. It's been about thirteen weeks, right? <laughs> thirteen. It's a Wednesday afternoon. You got your own ticket plus a plus one. We out. She would be your plus one. Yeah, of course. But out of the question. Part B to the question. Now you're in said label party. Okay. You got a bunch of homies in the party. She may or may not be an introvert, extrovert. She don't really know no people at the party, okay? But she at the party with you. Right. She came with you. She your plus one. Gangsta. But you got mad homies at the spot. Y'all trying to get crunk. Maybe sip on some free wine. Some appetizers and whatnot. Your homies want you to be the life of the party since you outside, right? Possible what song about you? So you outside, they expect you to be Mr. Outside, but you got your girl. So what are you going to do? You're going to make your girl be like you? Or are you, you going to cuff up in the corner with your shorty? Moving the pack, kid. Yeah. Shooter with me, you know she gon' rack. My Uda get back. Whole MG with me, you know you move tag. Don't know how to act. When I got my knock, cause I felt so relaxed. Not even comfy. Yeah. No matter the time, these niggas be buggy, buggy. It ain't no discussion. I said fuck the bluff and you come or you run. Yeah, that's a very convoluted question. I like that. Um, me personally, I'ma have her 
sitting pretty with a, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure she got her drink, whatever she want, I'm paying for it. She don't even gotta lift her fingers. She don't gotta worry about that. If she's personally not an extroverted type of person that I know this, I'm gonna make sure that she's as comfortable as possible. And I'm still gonna do my turn up shit, but I'm gonna also periodically check up on her, make sure she need another drink, or if she wants some food or whatever, if the spa got food, I get her some, some eats for me, make sure she's solid. And then, you know what I'm saying? She shouldn't mind me going turn up with my friends if she's not that type of person. So I feel like I do a little bit of both. It's like balancing it out, you know what I'm saying? Turn up with my men's and them. And then after a certain time, not too long though, go check up on her, make sure she's valid, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, make sure she got the drinks, whatever, whatever. And then balance it out that way. Good God. So say, during said function, being that y'all been talking for 13 to 15 weeks. Mm-hmm. Okay. 13 to 15 weeks, and you are not truly maintaining eyesight of your shorty. Say, a, another individual with a groin attached to a male body walks up on your shorty. Because... You out there turning up because Possible wrote the song about you. So another man walks up on your shorty. Trying to give her the Uchi Walla Bang Bang words. How are you going about that situation? Mind you, y'all might not have a title. It's only been 13 to 15 weeks. Right. And you're not really accompanying your shorty like that because you make sure, make sure she, she, she fed and she drunk. So now she may be drunk for another individual. How are you going to handle the situation? If I see another man talking to her, and I see that he's giving her the looks and that, that vibe, I'm gonna walk up and I'm address him like, excuse me, she's, t she's spoken for, it's, it's clip for you, you need to take it this way. Out of all the women in this party, this is the one you can't get with, you feel me? She's with me, respectfully, move your ass, like, <laughs> fuck about it, gangster. And if he wanna take it there, we can take it there, cause I ain't, I'm one of them niggas too, you feel me, so. Officers, we got him. <laughs> Keep a smile on my face and make my family happy I am the light in all the darkness that's been trying to trap me Demons keep on coming at me, flowers laying at my feet My tears is all that really stain the sheets But don't get too concerned about things concerning me Miss Anna Plus one Or minus one I'm not gonna lie, I got very confused where the question was going <sighs> So what is the question? Cause I feel like it was like a couple questions that was answered There was a couple questions that was answered Clearly you were good at math but I just want you to base off everything you've heard. I really did that to, to give you a, a full, because the first question was pretty simplistic. So I had to expand it for you to, to really get a dive deep on how he felt if you was introverted or extroverted. Regardless, you got the answer to your question, even if it doesn't matter whatever you are, he answered the question. So plus one or minus one. I don't know. There were some things I didn't like you said. Mm. <laughs> like, um, I think I'm just going to go with the minus one. No, dive into it. Dive into it. Dive into it. We want to hear the. Dive we want to hear the yummy, yummy. Think about it. That <laughs> you were talking about um, me at a party with you, and then you going off and like leaving me on my lonely, and then coming back. Like I don't think that's right. I think I will go with you where we're going. Like we're gonna have fun together. If I'm at a party with you, right? Um, he, otherwise, I would have came by myself. <laughs> well, he did say you were introverted, but. Right. I'm not gonna leave you like I'm not gonna go to like another end of the party and you just at the like entrance type shit like I'm gonna be within a, a visible distance like that's giving too much opportunity to these guys out here <laughs> I mean if you but if you came with me you should already know the vibe so respectfully this is getting boiling hot ladies and gentlemen I can feel the heat so your final answer on that one was a minus one. Oh wow. We just downgraded the skull after we upped the skull. It's getting real tragic over here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> tragic is crazy. Yeah, uh, I hated the clear like I'm telling. Uh, dark on the glass like it's telling. Uh, Slip in the cold like I'm telling. Uh, don't give a fuck on the teller. Uh, say what I want like I'm telling. My bitch kind of white like Taylor. Sweet. Taylor. Yeah. I am to the play like I'm Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, that was round one of LJS After Hours with contestant numero uno. Let's get in to the next contestant. <laughs>